my name is Keith for KMA's Corner, and this is Minecraft Uncut, where everything happens in this world is seen by all of you, if you choose to watch the videos. And today, we're going to do something very, very fun. So fun, that I can't even tell you. Is that a build-up or what? <laughs> I... Uh, came on here to do a little more research while not recording, and I was using my new boat dock. And that boat dock worked fine for me, as amazing as that sounds. But the problem is, when I got to the other side of the river, or the pond, um, the boat broke. And it said, K-May's Corner has fallen from a high place, and I died. So I do not know what glitch I ran into while I was playing on this Minecraft Uncut world. Uncut. Um, so I died. Third death. And it seems like every time I come onto this world to do research, to plan for projects in the future, I have a death or I have something go majorly wrong where I have to fess up and say, hey, this Minecraft uncut thing that I'm doing, well, I do come on here once in a while without you guys knowing. But every single time I have, something has happened where I've had to tell you guys. So, I am fed up with that. <laughs> um, so what I had done to fix the situation if I need to, um, you know, check a location for something, um, work on something, not so much like builds, but f basically pre-plan, I'm not saying getting blocks and stuff because I do all that on cam, um, but pre-plan a size, like is a building going to fit in this field and, you know, where I should place it before I do it, um, I'm going to stop doing that. And what I have done instead is I created a creative world with this seed it has none of the buildings built or anything like that. But I... I'm getting a little upset with... Not having access to all the blocks that I want. So what I did is I created that creative world... With this seed. And I went flying around... Um, looking for... Things where I could get blocks. Like... The the typical... Uh, I don't know if I want to go there. The typical sort of things. Um, I found out where the ice spikes biome is. So I can get some packed ice. I found out where... Um, Mushroom Island is. So I can get mycelium. The major mega taiga. So I can get that... Uh, I don't know what to call that dirt, but that dirt that's brown, that's not like normal dirt or coarse dirt, Silas, <laughs> of course I'm going to name it something kind of mushroomy, psilocybin, <laughs> that's not the name of the dirt, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, I found where a jungle is, so I can get some jungle trees, and Basically, I spent um, almost a whole day on here looking for things of interest, biomes that I need. I even found a witch hut. Um, I marked down the location of... Um, you know, uh, what are those things called? We're the Guardians. Guardian Temple. I, that's what I'm calling it. It might be called something else, but you know what I'm talking about, and that's all that counts. 
So today's episode, I am going to do this wonderful work with obsidian. See, see, I am collecting a whole bunch of obsidian, which is the most exciting thing that can be done in Minecraft. So I am so glad to share this. Oh, don't. Oh, you killed my dog. Oh. So glad to share this excellent ability with you because getting obsidian is the most exciting thing in the world. Why is that? So, I also decided that seeing each week I'm in one location I am gonna change it up for the next week so um, I kind of hinted at this before that's why I did the boat dock over on the other side um, and today especially after we did all that traveling and Dang it. That's why I don't like playing with nether. I mean, obsidian. Lighting myself on fire. I got 48. I do want to get more. I know this is a pain in the butt, but bear with me for a little bit longer. And, um,. I will be going to the nether to make the portals to go to all these wonderful places that I found. So we can get red sand, red sto sandstone, and uh, make the tunnels to go to them because I have that the best nether hub ever. Why does it do that? Get a few more. Almost done. Um, you know, I do have the best nether hub, hub ever, tongue in cheek, of course, which is um, basically a three by three room with a nether portal in it. <laughs> is that good enough? Yeah. Yeah, it's good enough. Let me pillar out of here. I'm just gonna cover in the holes like this. Oh. Do I have any? Ooh. Look at all this stuff I had waiting for me. Let's throw all this kaplushi in here. Oops. I don't think I'm going to need the blocks. And if we do have enough time, there is another special thing I wanted to do today. Which I think would be fun. But I'm not going to say I'm going to do it because these uh, nether portals... I shouldn't say the nether portals themselves, but... Um, excuse me while I steal some of this. Yeah, I should be good there. Um, digging the tunnels to the nether portals where I need them to be um, is going to take a lot of time. So I'm going to be basically cutting out a whole bunch of nether rock and hopefully not burning myself to death on 
some lava. And as you saw, we already had a kind of close call with some lava. So we will try not to do that again. So last time, I'm pretty sure I expanded this room. Is it getting night? Ugh. Or is it getting day? Which way? I'm looking to the east. So it's just getting day. Oh, I forgot I made this over here. So I've also been thinking, um, I've kind of gotten ahead of myself with this series. I gotta finish that. What's down here? Nothing of interest. All I need is that one stack. I'm gonna put a mushroom in there. Just for fun. So hopefully when I go back this time, I'm not gonna die. Did that squid jerk? He's kicking my boat away from me. By the time I catch my boat, it's gonna be at the other dock. So good. I guess it's a good thing that I'm going to the Nether, seeing that it's raining. But this is what I was doing. I was just riding over here, and sometimes when I reach this place over here, it kind of lag spikes. But when I got over to the, th see it just lag spiked a little bit. And when I got get over here it, and I escape the boat, it said, "Kmate's corner fell from a high place." But I was jumping out of the boat and into water, so I don't know what was going on there. So let's see if it happens again. Nope. Bye bye boat. So at least it's not a consistent thing. So it's like I feel bad when I come on here when um, I'm not recording because it is an uncut series. And I'm really not supposed to. I have a design for a path that's coming through here and also a path that goes from the other side. And a little bridge to cross over that. Something wide enough and big enough for horses. It's nice to see all my stuff staying in there this time. Oh, so yeah, you see my levels are at 12. I don't know how many levels I had before, but... I don't like the fact that it's at 12 now. I'm gonna bring you. I don't have any... Flints and steel, huh? There we go. So I have the coordinates. I didn't... Ooh. I didn't write down where the coordinates are that I need to go to. But... In the first one, it doesn't matter. Because, oh, we don't have anything in here. Um, I'm going to expand this a little bit so I can put on some chests and wonderful things like that. I don't even know why I'm filling in the holes. I'm going to eventually take out all this and make a proper room. But... Here is the chest. Where do we want it? We can put it right there. And we're going to make... I always call them things the wrong thing and wrong things in this game. I don't want you, you, you. I'll keep you just in case. That's a crappy bow. I don't need you. 
and I don't want to use up all my diamond gear because I don't have a whole bunch of it right now so I'm gonna make some iron stuff for the nether rock and later when I become a little richer I won't use it so let's see we need to go to 411 what oh jeez I'm looking up at the coordinates and I saw let's see minus 6.300 I thought it was minus 6300 I'm like whoa I gotta have to make a 6000 <laughs> uh -huh. block tunnel here no I need to go to 400 plus 400 so that way minus 907 which would be kind of in that way so what I'm gonna do is just go this way hmm screw that I'm going to go this way. There, there we go. For a whole bunch of time. Just like this. Um, I'm going to do that. So I have blocks on my bar just in case. This will probably use up all my pickaxe. So where I'm going now is actually where a blade spawner is. Remember how I checked out the fortress? I'm going to make in the near future, after I make these tunnels, and if by chance, I kind of doubt it, if I have time today, I will... Uh, make a blade spawner at least make it an active I can show you how to do that I do have to go a long ways surprise it's this far away really kinda surprised shows you why I was having so much trouble Um, initially finding my way out of here see I haven't even gone a hundred blocks and my picks gonna be dead so this tunnel is gonna be like five picks no this tunnel is gonna be like ten picks dang and this is only a two by two -er. which is the smallest tunnel you can possibly make in this game but I don't know there's got to be um, fortresses closer but I just didn't find them and there's one yeah so it's like a hundred so what's what's this say uh, what is it f3 H I don't know I'm not worried about it right now So, uh, places that are in this direction, or other, hopefully I can use this main tunnel for multiple tunnels. Um, or, so I can get to multiple biomes, I should say. I did find, like, multiple instances of each biome, and I tried to make it so I had the least amount of tunnels in the nether to make the portal to get to these biomes, so, um, I don't have tunnels like this going in all directions, um, when, like, a flower forest is next to a mesa, you know, if there's one, a flower forest on the opposite end of the map and a mesa on the other end, I chose the flower forest that was closer to the mesa, so 
things are closer together. Yeah, so this is exciting. I'm gonna get lots of netherrack for this. And that exciting was the asterisk sarcasm. The meditative sounds of dun 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 I'm so used to not having my block right next to my pick that I uh overshot where I go. I still use the um the wheel on the mouse to move from the different locations. Some people use the number keys, but I am not that intelligent to use the number keys quickly. Pick two. Yep, it looks like I'm gonna, when I'm done with these iron pickaxes, I'm gonna say screw this, and I really can't believe that the, damn, the nether spawner is that far away. It's really sad, actually. But at least, um, I'm already working on a style design for these tunnels. Obviously, it's going to take a long time. <laughs> a very long time. So that is part of the reason why every... Um, Every week I'm going to try and be in a different location. Unless I'm completely excited about a build and I just want to get it done. Because some of these builds are going to take a while to get done. So that's why the series is going to be for a very long while. Um, and I don't know what would end the series. Most likely, likely an update. Probably not the next update where it looks like we're going to be doing a combat upstate where we get bows, arrows, shields, and stuff. Uh, but most likely a train generator type update where there's going to be new biomes and stuff. I might restart the world or end this world or something. And I also do want to make an SMP um, edited series maybe once a week along with this series number three yeah I didn't think the I thought these picks would last a little bit longer than this and I still have yet to figure out how I'm gonna get down to the nether fortress from here But that's for another day. I guess uh, seeing um, I gotta go 418 blocks to the positive which would be this way to the right I think when I'm 418 blocks away negative wise, which is pretty close, I'm, I might go the sideway, sideways uh, path. I don't know though. Let's do it at negative 500. I'll start cutting the path to the right. Hey.